Oh, see, it's a red dot and it's charging. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Daddy. Apparently, the rest of our helpers have disappeared. Outside. Yeah. So, anyway, this is still like the same video from two weeks ago, but it took a while. So, I have some tools. Some tools. We got some new tools that someday a whole box came from Grandpa. And and from uh, from from Grandpa's friend. I cannot remember his name right now. Um. I remember it later. Okay. So, do you remember what we were doing with these? We're trying to find something like this to put on it at. And then what else? Getting a new one. New tip. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's where we were at. So this I had. What is this? That is a silicone covered fiberglass sleeve. Just like this, just not like, like different, this. Different color, and this is a little more rubbery. That's not, but it'll still do the job. How are you like gonna slide this thing? On? Well, that's part of the problem. So that one doesn't really stretch very well, so we may not be able to get it on there. We might have to cut it and put an extra piece on there and tape it. <laughs> this is okay. So, uh, you guys remember you got all your piggy banks out? And you're gonna donate some money, money so that we could buy which it. part? This to put on that. What is that? That's Lily crying. Can you hear? Oh. She's probably gonna come in here and bother us. So this finally came in the mail. It took like two weeks. Uh, maybe a week and a half. But there it is. Look at that. This one's gold. Now, can I have your monies? Why did I set my money? Uh oh. I knew they're in my pocket. You lost it. They're in my pocket the whole time. Well, you gotta go find it. You gotta go find it. I know. Where was I walking at this Find it. You lost it? Yes. I lost my piggy bank as well. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, I got some money to extract. But we got the part. Sit up here so we can see what you're doing. You cannot see what you're doing. It's not a baggie. You'll have to cut it open. Anyway, it's not a baggie. You have to cut it open. Don't grow up in my dang it. I don't know. That one looks like it's nickel plated. Look at that. Go show them what you got. No, this is the camera part. There you go. Show them all the sides. So that's a, a, a nozzle tip made out of brass. Looks like it's coated in something. And now we're going to put it on here. We should probably heat this up so we can get it on there nice and clean it off first. That goes on very nice. Does it? Yeah. So we'll probably have to hook this up to the printer to clean it off, which means we're going to have to get it hot, which means we have to set all that up. It's just sitting on it right now. Okay, what is the problem? It won't go any further. That's because it's covered in plastic. See that black stuff? We're going to have to heat it up and use this wire brush and these yeah. safety glasses and scrape all that hot stuff or that plastic off. Mm -hmm. And then we'll put it on. That way it would go easier. Yeah. I'll put it onto this one. So we're going to have to hook it up to the printer temporarily to make that work. Alright, Riley, I'm going to plug this into the wire where it's supposed to go. Mm -hmm. And then we'll heat it up and we'll, we'll rub it off with the, uh, the wire brush. So this is going to be very hot 
which means that you need to be very careful. Okay? Mm -hmm. We'll just set it there for now. And I'm going to probably um, hold it with a pair of pliers if I need to. Okay, that's these. Don't shove it in my face. And we're going to need the nozzle. We're going to need this tape. This is PTFE. Teflon. Teflon. This is what this is. And we're going to wrap a couple of wraps around the bottom here to make sure the plastic doesn't squeeze out of the nozzle. Okay? So we got the pewter on the floor here. I'm going to try turning it on. Okay, well, back to the same problem we had. We tried to troubleshoot this. We have to have these both plugged in. So I have to plug in this one, which is really, really hard, Riley. The way I that... wish we didn't have to do both. Yeah, well. That would have been very helpful. <laughs> I mean, very helpful. It's, a, it's got a built-in safety. So if one of these quit, then it doesn't burn down your house. So be careful now, it's going to be hot, okay? Let's see which ones. Like... Should this... Okay, it's getting warm. Got your safety glasses on? Yeah. Don't bump the camera right there. With your foot. Okay, let's use this. I don't know what size. To hold on here. Because it's going to get hot in a minute. So hold it like that. Oh, I kicked the camera. Okay, just hold it. Don't pull, right? But just hold it. We're going to let this get warm. It takes a little bit. You can see down here the temperature. It's going up. I can see the smoke. Oh, yeah. Okay, you got a good hold on that? Mm -hmm. All right. Got to hold it better than that. Like, just squeeze these together a little bit. There you go. Not too much, just enough. Now I'm going to put this tape on there, okay? Just take a wrap or something. I'm going to... This is to help keep the plastic from flowing out of the threads, okay? So I'm just going to put... Like, something like this. Uh, let's see, it's going to be tightening this way, so I need to put it on this way. And we just got to make sure it's not sticking out of the bottom because it'll get clogged in our way. That's probably enough. I'll leave that on there because it's hard to pull off. So I'm going to use these. All oh, these won't fit. Okay, well, we'll just have to hold it like you got it. Let me have it for a second. So I'm going to have to put like a really good grip hold on this thing. Okay, you hold it too. And we're gonna thread this on there now. Oh, uh, you know what? Uh, they should be right. They should be right. I'm hoping they're not the wrong size. See? Wrong size threads, that would be uh, a bit of a problem. Yeah. Did oh, you buy this? It went you? on. See? It just was, the very first part was a bit hard. Until you squeezed it. I thought you were asking me about buying something. No, I was talking about that in my head. Paper, take it off. Now we need to turn it off because it's hot. So we'll turn it off. We're going to let it cool down, okay? And then we're going to put it back on the little table this we got. This stuff feels really soft. Yep, it does. And we're gonna put the little, this little thing on there. Okay, so now we have to put these back on the printer. 
and then we'll be ready for upgrading the firmware, which is what we've been working on for the last two weeks. Yes. Every day. I'm so tired and hungry. <laughs> so tired and hungry. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let you try to put these back on. So we'll put the, we'll put this one, here, put this one on that side. But look, with the wires have to be, well, you could probably still get it. Remember this has to go in this hole, right? And clamp on there, remember? So, So do you know which one goes where? I don't know. They're, I mean, I know, but they only go one way, luckily. Luckily, they only go one way. I'm glad you got small hands. It's easier. Now the crazy thing, there you go. Now the crazy thing here, Riley, is that these two need to be like perfectly the same height. And so for now, just go ahead and tighten it. Okay, and then when we calibrate it later, we're gonna make sure that they're both at the exact same height. What do they look like right now? They look okay, but not great, huh? Yeah, so the best way to find out. Actually, we can home this machine. Oh, it might crash against the bed, though. Oh, there you go. So, which one's closer? The blue one. The blue, yeah. Uh, so what we can do is you can loosen this one. So, loosen that one. And then we can pull it out the bottom a little bit to get it closer. But the problem is, is we really want to be up a little bit. So maybe I can get a card or a piece of paper. That, this one's not like, dropping. Here. Let's use a piece of this. This is pretty thick. Let's put this under there. Don't well, don't go too far, Luz. Now, can you pull that one up with your little hands? Pull it up a little bit. Let me probably have to wiggle it. I can't use any hands to do that. Huh? Here. Come on, so I used a fraction. Well, you got them both loose, right? Or did you loose? Did you tighten it again? Maybe tighten it again. That's maybe what happened. Ah, it's tight, right? That's why you couldn't move it. So loosen it up pretty good so it doesn't... So you can actually move it because earlier it was getting sticky. Okay. Okay, now try to move it up a little bit. Wiggle it. With, there you go. Grab it. Yeah. Oh, not, not too high. Oh, there you go. There you go. Okay, do the the other one. Same way. We should have put this in there first. Okay. Good. All right. Now, now we've got paper. Drop tape. Oh my lid. Now we got paper between there. Okay. Now, what happens is when you tighten those back down, go ahead and tighten them back down, they'll be the height of the paper. Okay? And that way they're not hitting the bed, but they're just barely off. That's what we want. And then later we can adjust some other things to get it just right. But for now, at least they won't smash the bed. That's a good thing. <laughs> All 
All right. We got this hot end rebuilt. Now we gotta heat it up and make sure it works, maybe. We should extrude some plastic. That's the last thing we need to do, just to make sure both hot ends work. I need to get to print my Pikachu? Not yet. Aww. We have to recal, well, we should probably print something to make sure it works, but but what we need to do, really is is get our, our new firmware installed so we can level the bed. Okay, Riley, you're driving. Driving. Yep. I'm just watching. Okay. So we need to ho we need to make first of all click on the extruder button. This one. Yeah, click on that. See how it says only one. We need to make that two. So go up here to config. Click once. Click the other. There's two clicks. You have to click on this side. This side. Whoops. Okay, go to printer settings. Yep. Okay, and go to the printer. Here? No. There you go. And somewhere on here. Uh, oh, no, go to extruder, the one next to it. There you go. Number of extruder. Put a two in there. So you can delete it first. And there's a two. Back button. I hit two. Okay, now hit down here where it says apply, hit apply. That's cancel. There you go. Now, see it popped up? Alright, so go ahead and hit OK. Now go check again and see if we've got more than one in there. In there. See? Yep. One and two. Okay, so depending on which one you have selected, that's what this controls. Down here, see the, there's two of them now. Those are the extruders. One, two. Yeah, so turn them both on. Can yep. I do yeah, that? just like that. Click it again. There you go, and do the other one too. Now they're both, Oops. there you go, they're both on. Go ahead and turn the fans on. That one. You know, it'll make a weird sound. Yeah, it probably will vibrate. That way it blows air past it and kind of does what it's Close supposed to up. do. Hey, it's okay. not making any noise. Y yeah, well, it's, we need to still fix that. Yeah, no, Alright, see these numbers? Mm -hmm. Those are the temperatures. Why don't you set number one to 200? We're going to try to extrude some plastic. This stuff. Two hundred. Two hundred. A two zero zero. Okay. And now, you see this little dot? That's the temperature that it actually is. Yeah. See it moving? So that little dot is going to try to always get to that little line. Oh, as well as that one. So for now. So once it gets to that line, it will stop. stop. It'll stay there. It'll try to stay there if everything's working right. So look, here's the plastic. Let me show you how to load it. Look, this is one, this is two. We'll probably need to mark them sometime. So this goes in here like this, in through there, and it's got to go in the hole of the extruder. So you have to push this down. This is really difficult. Hey, Daddy, this one stopped, and, and, and that one's still going. That worked. Yeah. Look, this is really hard to push down. Feel how hard it is. It's a really good spring. You can't even push it, I know. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna I'll I'll push it down and you feed it in. Get it down in that hole. There you go. Keep going. Push it till it stops. Good? Okay. Then you can let it go. So we're gonna this this is PLA. It melts at two hundred degrees. That's what you punched in. Yep, two hundred. So when it reaches the number pretty well there All right so now you're gonna use this to extrude plastic so why don't you go over to that oops this yeah see that's up okay that's backwards 
and down. That's down. So there's that down. one on the right, and the one on the left. What's the one on the left? Four. I, I don't know what the difference is. Maybe you can hold it or something. I don't know. So do ten. Yeah, click on it. Make sure you, there you go. And it's not doing anything. Maybe you didn't click it. Click it again. Maybe I didn't hold it. Yeah. Oh, what's it say? Cold extrusion prevented. Uh, maybe it's got to be hotter than that. Uh, oh, you punched the two hundred into the wrong one. Oh, uh, one number one. Yeah, put put one hundred back in that one. And actually, we never hit enter, so it never changed. So put 100 back in there. And hit the enter button. That, that one there. Big one. Yeah. Okay, now go to the other one and put 200. And you'll see that little thing move. I hit enter. Enter? Yeah. See it move? We gotta go way up there. So here's where the error came up. Or it says, you can probably read that. Cold inter provided? Extrusion. Prevented. You get sound that one out better. So now we gotta wait until it gets a little bit hotter. Is this red one? The red one. This is the first one? Yeah. We can't mark that sometime. Yeah, we'll mark it like either on here or on the wood. I will probably do wood. On the wood? We could laser mark it if we had to, we had to take it all apart though. <laughs> I don't really want to do that. <laughs> I mean, we could. You see all this stuff? This mess of things that are going on here? Mm -hmm. The red line is the extruder. Show extruder? Yeah, that's the red line. This is show bed. Yep. So the bed is cold. We didn't heat it up. Oh, look. See the plastic coming out? Oh, it's red. Yeah, whatever was in there last. So is it close to the right temperature? Uh, super close. Okay. Why don't you... It's probably close enough. Why don't you just try it? Try to extrude some again. Do the 10, yeah. Do I just did 20? Look at it. Okay, do it again. Okay, now do some more so we can really put it out and make sure it's just all happy. Look, you're controlling it. Now you just did 50. Oops. Look at it, you're making a mess all over the bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's in white. That's right, because we put white into it. So it had red in the first place. Is there another one on there? Like a hundred? Like if you move the mouse down, does there a hundred on the bottom? Oh yeah, do a hundred. Let's make a mess. Oh. Oops. Yeah, that mouse is hard to use. Uh... <laughs> oh my goodness, that's hilarious. <laughs> that was a hundred? Yeah. Okay, so why don't you turn this one back down? It works. Put it on 100. Turn it way down. So put it, you know, just punch in 100. And then you're going to punch in 200 on that one, okay? Mm -hmm. One, zero, zero, zero. Lily's inside. Back, 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 back. Two, hundred. What if you did two million? That would be... It, it wouldn't let you, actually. Oh. So before this gets cold, because you turned it off... Are you going to come help? Yeah. Okay, come on. Hey, it's moving backwards. Yeah, because it's cooling down. Look, Elijah. Look at all that string. Wire. <laughs> this side. Right here. There you go. Alright, so that's hot, so don't touch it. Now uh, look, I'm going to pull this back out, and we need to load this one. So that looks I'll like push it down, you put it in. That looks like a slinky. I know. I'm going to take this off. Okay, put it in that hole now. It's hard to see, I know. There you go. All the way down. There you go. That's probably good enough. Yeah. Okay. Yes.
Alright, did you... Oh, you forgot to hit enter. There you go. Now we have to wait till it gets hot, you see? Now, you have to change this. Because you were on this extruder and now you want to do the other one. So go ahead and change that. Put it on extruder 2. There you go. Now we have to wait. Until that will get hot. Uh huh. Now look, these numbers are now the other one. So it's flipped on you. They don't both display. Maybe the new version does, but this one doesn't. This is the old version. We put the new version on the new laptop. Okay. What do you think about that? You extruded your first plastic. Which is this. Yeah, there's <laughs> there's your that's, that's your first mess. Look. Oh. Whoa, please don't knock this off. Isn't that funny? It had I guess it had red plastic in the first place. And then they just turned this color. My this cousin. is hilarious. <laughs> okay, where are we at? I need to kneel. You can stay. Scooter one, I mean, scooter two. You gotta get more. Probably. Gotta wait some more? Alright. <laughs> he just broke it. <laughs> Don't make a mess over there. So, look, when this thing gets to like 200, well, 180, see the numbers? When this gets to like 280, you can probably start. Now, this one had black in it, so we'll see what's left. Should push some black out. I'm down this first. That's great. Thanks, Lloyd. Good job. Hey, I need you to go get your piggy bank and give me $3 for oh. this for this okay. printer. Can, okay. you, can you do it? Yeah. All right. That was easy. I should have asked him for more. <laughs> okay. It's about 180. So go ahead and try pushing out just a little. Do like a five or something. Or one. That's fine. Even just make sure we got it right and it's moving right. Yep. So it moved. It was quick. Let's go ahead and do a little more. Squeeze some out of there. Oh. Oh. What just happened? We just pushed the whole nozzle out, kid. What? Yeah, someone didn't tighten it tight enough. <laughs> that would be you. It's okay. Get the Allen wrenches. We'll push it back in there. That is so weird. Was <laughs> <laughs> They're right there. Bring it back. Yes. Two of them? No. No, the Allen wrench. You know what an Allen wrench is. That's a whole set, Whoa. though. Alright, I'm going to use this to push it back in. We'll have to reset up the height again, but that's okay. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Loosen it up. Go loose. It smells like cupcakes. I mean, not cupcakes. Alright, tighten it up. Make sure it's tight this time. Oh, I will. Don't overdo it, though. That's probably plenty. Let me see that. <laughs> Let me double check your work there. That was pretty funny. Push the whole extruder out. That was fun. Oh, I'm going to realize you have my money. So I can pay back my account for buying uh, this part. That's one dollar. One, two, you need one more. Can you find one more? Um, sure. Okay. If you can't find it, also click it in. you got to find yours still. We'll find it later. I could just pay something else. That's okay. Dexter's got to do this too. Okay, try it again. Mommy, watch this. Why does it smell in here? We're burning stuff. Try it again. Not burning stuff. We're trying to print it something. And Try it again. I'll do 50. Whoa! That's coming out so fast. Oh! Man, that's nice. Yeah, it does. I know. Do it again. It's because it's brand new and Oops, I just it's got to burn everything. Oh, oh my goodness! Mess. <laughs> Buddy, a dog. That is hilarious. Oh, there you go. Elijah paid me off. Now I gotta get Dexter to do it. I just have to find oh. one. Riley lost hers. Do it again. Yeah. I just did one out of ten. Okay, do do a hundred. Oh. See if it'll keep up. Whoops, you missed. Moved it. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here it's slipping. I can't quite keep up. 
Which, it's actually really We might cool. need to pull the sleeves down a little bit. That is hilarious. Alright, do nice. do 50 again. Mm -hmm. At least we know it works, right? See it? We're trying to get <laughs> this boy on camera, so he needs to stand down there so he can see it. He can see it. He can't see it from down there. Rather's in the way. It's not tall enough. Look, your first print. Actually, oh. this would be your second. Here's your first. Yeah, that's <laughs> Looks just face. as nice. All right, does it work? Yeah. All right, once you cool it back down, so you can put both these at zero now. I can just do this. You can. You can just delete the one. Good job. You gotta hit enter though. Don't you? Oops. Okay, now do the other one. I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna get you a star. Oh, we're pretty well done. Cool. You didn't delete it. I know. <laughs> I'm almost away. I can't get it. He's gonna knock the computer off. Well, you don't touch this, so you'll knock it Enter. off. Okay. Just you, you're 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 one over. Turn. See the cursor? You gotta hit the air, hit the arrow button. That way. Yeah. Now delete that. Now hit enter. There you go. See it moved. Well, here you go. Here's your second print ever. Congratulations. You have now. <coughs> Succeededly, successfully, you didn't really print what anything. What about I do? It's hilarious. Is that my print? Well, this is just a test, Elijah. We're going to actually print a Pikachu. We're not going to print anything at the moment. We're going to just get this far. Do, 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 do. Hey, nice work, kid. I want to print something else. <laughs> we'll get into that in the next couple of videos. So the next, we're going to upgrade the firmware and stuff. This looks like a ray. What what are you what are you gonna tell everybody? Don't forget. You get to choose the school. Yep. Get to choose the school for what? Where the printer goes. That's right. Links in the description. Don't forget. We're still working on it, but we're almost there. Good job, Riley. This is so funny. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> So you can hit disconnect right there so I can unplug it. Disconnect. Hard day's work.